While EFF leader Julius Malema has called on the ANC to name the Cape Town International Airport after Winnie Madigizela Mandela. Malema said if the ANC was serious about honoring Madigizela Mandela and her legacy, then they would rename the Mother City's airport after her. For more on this, we're joined by EFF National Chairperson Veronica Mende. Veronica, thank you so much for your time and thank you for joining us on this afternoon's program. Now, as a party, you've reiterated the call for the renaming of Cape Town International Airport to Winima Digzela Mandela. This is, of course, after the 2019 motion that was tabled by the party before Parliament on this very subject. Uh, talk to us about why this is coming up again. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for having us. Um, you would uh, remember that uh, Mama Winnie, we hold her name in great honor and in respect of his spirit as well as remembering her in the EFF, we always make sure that her name, her legacy, her spirit lives forever. And us calling for the airport to be named after her. In 2019, back in 2019, when it was towards the first year when she has left us, many people uh, labeled us as populist, labeled us as uh, opportunists because remember March 2019 was just two months away from the national elections and that was never the case. And so we continued uh, to honor her name and we named our head office after her. So we continue to make sure that the legacy and the name of our gallant fighter and the mother of the nation is never ever forgotten. It should be engraved in our hearts. The next generation should know her. The next generation should learn about her. The next generation should always find the name and the legacy of Mama Winnie living forever. Mm. I want to take us back in time a little bit to that year, the year 2019. At the inception of that motion announced by your party president at Umama Wini's funeral, uh, there was a lot of public support for this suggested name change. Uh, I mean, there was the hashtag uh, Choose Winnie Mandela, which trended for quite some time. And so it is curious that even with so much backing at the time, and I'd assume even today, why have these efforts yielded no results? Our problem in South Africa is many, many people that do not want to leave um, the idea that only men fought for this country. So that idea and is also perpetuated by the patriarchal uh, mentality of our country, that things of significance like airports, things that we hold dear to our hearts, heritages that we hold dear to our hearts, must always be named after men. And this for South Africans, and I remember the time when Mama Winnie's name and that hashtag was trending, was pushed mostly by women because we as women, we want the state and the country and the society at large to understand that our freedom did not only come by the tears, the sweat, the blood of men. The women were there. Mama Winnie led that fight. Mama Winnie never turned her back on this soil when things were tough. Mama Winnie went through the most brutal uh, system that was abusing her throughout with her children. And in honor of that, and in honor of a gallant fighter who made sure that she stays within this soil, she protects the children of this soil. She was the one who was opening the veins of the, the brutal security forces of apartheid and taking out 
both men and women who were being arrested unfairly under that system. So in honor of all of that, and to make sure that children learn that women were at the forefront of fighting for this freedom, we ought to all talk about this and we must change it. So the reason why it didn't pass that time is because of this patriarchal system mentality that's engraved in the many people's hearts in the country, in, in society at large. And in for us as the EFF to change that and ensuring that a woman is also honored because she was also holding the fort. She was also there. She was fighting in the front line. Yeah. I mean, Veronica, what, you, what you're talking about here is, of course, the erasure of, of Mama Winnie Madigizela Mandela's own contributions to the fight uh, against apartheid. And we've seen it happen often where female freedom fighters have been lost in the retelling of our history. However, some may question the, you know, the, 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 the desired outcomes, whether or not we will in fact get those by renaming airports. Shouldn't we rather target things like what our children, for instance, are being taught in classrooms when it comes to the history of this country? If indeed we're trying to change these patriarchal systems of thinking that you've mentioned and work against the erasure of, of women and, and their contributions and sacrifices in history. Indeed, uh, you are correct that history should also bear the names of our gallant fighters, in particular those that were women. But history alone, when it's uh, in, a, in an academic form, will not be the history fair enough and the history telling enough of our past. So when you enter South Africa and you are not from South Africa, the history of South Africa academically, you have nothing to do with it. But when you come from outside and you enter this country through the Winnie Matikizela Mandela Airport, the first question you have in your head is who is Winnie Matikizela Mandela? Then that curiosity began, begins to drive all the emotions of the people, even the talk guys, will start telling a story of who the person behind the name of this airport is and what were their contribution to this country, to the freedom of the children of this country. In fact, what was her contribution to the development of Africa globally? What was her contribution leading up to the freedom we all found ourselves in in 1994, that of which was political freedom, and many people fought for it. So to only have it in schools and drive that the curriculum should encompass every history of South Africa to today, it's not going to be a, 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 a a sign of us trying to correct everything in the past and ensuring that the women are also part of it. But people from outside must find that history in every space in the society. Mm. Well, thank you very much, Veronica. I think you've certainly given us some food for thought uh, this afternoon. That's uh, EFF at National Chairperson Veronica meant They're talking to us there about the parties call, reiterated call, rather, for the renaming of Cape Town International Airport to Winnie Madigizela Mandela.